Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I want to show you two things. How you can put figures side by side in LaTeX and how you can add sub figures to your document. What are the differences between the two? As you can see here at the top, we have two figures side by side. So one figure at the left and one figure on the right. This is nice if you want to save space. We have created two figures or two images and we want to save space so we can put the two figures side by side and we have two captions one for each figure as if the figure were full width on the other end at the bottom here you can see that I have actually sub figures as you can see each sub figures has its own caption with a letter so a for the figure on the left and b for the figure on the right and then we have an overall caption for the whole figure. So let me show you how to put figures side by side and how to add sub figures to your document. And then I will quickly show you how to position them into your document, but the scope of this video is not about positioning, so I will not go too much into detail about that. In this video, I'm going to use Overleaf, but of course, you can follow along with me also if you are compiling your little document locally. Finally, I just want to say that I'm going to share all my source code with you. So follow along with me, but don't worry too much about copying and pasting the code while I type. You can just look at the video description below and then you will see all the source code for you to use. The first thing that we need to do is to add an image to your document. So let me open my project directory here. You can see that I have the main.x file, which is the file that I'm working on and have this image which is universe.jpg. Of course, in your document you can replace this image with any other image. So let me actually go and use Unsplash, which is a free repository for images. I'm going to download this image here and I'm going to add it to my document. So I just have to open it in downloads. I'm going to rename it as figure two and then I'm going to go back into Overleaf here and I'm going to upload it as figure two. Just keep in mind that it is important that your two figures have the same aspect ratio. Otherwise, they're going to be looking a bit different because they have different height. So let me go back to the main text document and let's first add the figure side by side. So let me compile the document at the moment because I don't have any source code. I can do that with Control Enter and I can recompile the document and you will see that there are no figures at the moment. So that was just the document that I compiled before. So in order to work with sub figures and figures side by side, we need these two packages. One is graphics and the other one is sub caption. Again, don't worry, I'm going to put it down in the video description. So we are making the title, so we are beginning the document, we, may, we, we specify the title and we are making the title and we have some Latin text as a placeholder. So let me start with the first figure, which are two figures side by side. So we use the begin command and we begin a figure, a figure environment. Already Overleaf is quite handy because it provides a boilerplate for us. So the first thing that we want to specify is that we want that this first figure is going to be here in the text. So it can also float, it doesn't have to be at the top, it doesn't have to be at the bottom, but can be midway in line with the text. So we're going to put a H. Then we're going to use centering because we want the two figure to be center, even though we're going to use two figures. We're not going to use the include graphic. And let me show you why. Because if I add the universe and then I press control enter, we're going to have just one figure. Of course, this is not the right size that we want because we haven't specified the width of the image. So we can do that by using width equal to one over text width. So now, if we compile the document again, the image should be full text width. Perfect. So that's what we want if we want to add just one image. And we have already a caption. However, this is not what we want. Finally, we want to put two figures side by side. So we are going to have to put this include graphic and this caption inside a mini page. So let me do that. So let me create a bit of space here. Begin mini page. And then of course, when we do begin, we also need to do end mini page. 
And then inside the mini page, we also want to do again centering because we want that the image is going to be centered inside the mini page. So now let's do include graphic and let's copy this and let's copy the label. So we are including this. The only thing that we haven't done is that we haven't specified how wide is the mini page going to be. So we want to say that 0 0.49, so it's less than half of the text width. Let's compile the document again, and we should see one figure, half of the size of the text width, but in the center. Why is in the center, not on the left? Because we say centering here before the mini page. So now that we have understood how to add a mini page, let's just copy and paste this code here at the bottom, and we're going to add another figure. So the other figure was called figure two, we don't have to specify the extension. Later can sort that thing out for us, and we can do Control Enter. So we compile the document, and you can see that the two figures are one under each other. But we want to fix this, because we don't want to have the two figures one under each other, but we want to have the two figures side by side. So how can we do that? We can just do, we can add an H fill in between the two mini pages. Let me recompile the document again. And now you can see that the two figures are side by side. They look the same because I've cut them to make sure that they have the same aspect ratio. If the two figures do not have the same aspect ratio, then eventually they will not have the same shape and one will be taller than the other. Also another thing that I need to fix is because I want to save time before, but I copy and paste this mini page, there is only one problem. We just need to change the label because we want to have one unique label for each figure. So we're going to say for fig one, so fig one, this is the first label, and this is the label for the second figure. So in the text here, we can reference this figure. So we can say the universe is shown in, and then we can say ref, figure one, and a mountain is shown in figure, and then we can say tilde, which is a non-breaking space, reference, and then figure two. If you want to know more about how to add hyperlinks and references into your document, I have another video, and I will put a link in the description. So just check that video out and you will see also a card here on the top of the screen if you're watching this video on your computer. So I forgot to say figure here, so let me just compile the document again so we can see that the universe is shown in figure one and the mountain is shown in figure two. These links are not clickable at the moment because we haven't imported the package hyperref. So we can say use package and then hyperref and we can compile the document again. Now, this not only will update automatically if you enter new figures, but also we can click on this and we can navigate through the document, which is super handy. Great, now I've shown you how to add two figures side by side to save space, if you want to do that. The second thing that I'm going to show you is how to add sub-figures and have an overarching caption which describe the sub-figures. So let's do that. It's very similar to the previous code, but there are some small modifications. So let me add another environment, which is begin figure. So we begin the figure. Again, Overleaf compiles and gives us some boilerplate code, but of course we have to change it again. So we're happy with the centering, that's perfect. But now, instead of starting straight away with the include graphic, we want to add a sub figure. So how can we do that? Instead of say begin mini page, this time we have to do begin sub figure. Perfect, so again, make sure that you are ending this command with end sub figure. Then inside here, as we did before, we want to have what? We want to have centering, so we indent it and we say centering. And then inside here, we want to include the graphic. So we include the graphic and we want to have a caption and a label. So let me copy this. And of course, inside include graphic, we need to specify what? 
the width of the text of the width and the image that we want to show. So let me copy and paste this one, this code from before. So we are going to say here include graphic. We want to have a width of uh, the text width. Again, I didn't explain it before, not to be confused. Why we are seeing one text width here inside include graphic? Because we want the full text width of the mini page. So the mini page was already 0 0.49 of the full document text width. So here we have one of the text width of the mini page. The same happened here. So inside the sub figures, which we haven't yet specified how big is going to be this sub figure, we want to have the full width of the sub figure. So the only thing that I'm actually missing here is to specify where the sub figure is going to appear. So it's okay to be at the top inside the figure. And we want to specify the width. So we want to specify it as before. So again, it has to be 0 0.49 text width. And the figure here, we want to appear at the bottom. So let me recompile this document and check that everything is working OK. So we should see a figure here at the bottom of the document. Fantastic. We are only seeing one at the center, one sub figure, because we haven't specified the other and we have selected centering. So let me call it figure 2, the label. Let me copy and paste this code. And let me copy and paste it down here. Let me remove some spaces here. So the code is a little bit more readable. We are going to call it 3. And we are going to call it uh, figure 2. So we are going to compile the document again. And now we can see that the two figures are at the bottom. Why are at the bottom here? Because uh, they are appearing one on top of each other stacked. What we want to do is we want to fix this behavior as we did before, and we can do that uh, using an H fill in between the sub figures. Fantastic. So now that the two figures are separated by an H fill, we have a figure on the left, a figure on the right, and this figure appear at the bottom of the page because we have specified here. If I will force this to be top, then these two figures are going to appear in page two. As you can see, we have some text and here are the figures. Why? Because we cannot place this figure at the top of the page because they have to come after this figure here and there is already something else at the top of the page. So let me move back to the bottom of the page. Let me compile the document again. And then we're going to add some text here in which we can refer the figures. So we're going to add some text here, which we're going to fix in a second. So we're going to say figure two, figure three. And then we want to add, because these are sub figures, we want to have a caption for the whole figure. So in this case, we want to add a caption for the whole figure. How can we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We just have to say caption for the sub figures. And of course, we can specify also a label. And the label is fig. In this case, I'm not going to use a, a very good naming convention, actually. So sorry, this label should be three and should be labeled four. But this is going to be three dash four. And then here, I'm going to copy this one. So the universe is shown in let's say sub figure and then we're going to say here three and the mountain is shown in sub figure four and finally the figure and then we're going to reference the whole figure so we're going to use ref and we're going to say fig 3, 4. He's showing uh, the universe and a mountain side by side. So let me recompile this document. We can see that we have figure three, the sub figures, 
So this is the caption for the sub-figures. Unfortunately, I didn't use a right and good naming convention here. The label should have been just figure three. And I use figure three for this one and figure four for this one. Of course, I could have used figure 3.a. And let's do that actually, figure three dash B. And this is only figure three. And then we need to change this. So three dash A, three dash B. And then we're going to call it a figure three. And then we just have to find where this text is here in the text. So we can see the universe is shown in sub figure three A automatically. The mountain is shown in sub figure three B. And finally, the figure three is showing the universe and a mountain side by side. I really hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. It really helps a lot because I'm new here on YouTube. So it really helps me a lot to know that you like my video and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add it in the comment section below under the video. I have a lot of other videos on LaTeX, so I will put a link at the end of the video to my LaTeX playlist and LaTeX Beamer. So if you want to learn more about LaTeX and LaTeX Beamer, and if you want to support this channel, please consider buying me a coffee. You can do so by clicking the link down in the video description on buy me a coffee. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time.